Hey guys, Whaler Saver here, just to give you a quick update on how the foam removal is going. Freaking hate this part. A um, couple things I wanted to show you as I'm going through how much water there is coming out of the foam. So it's completely saturated. Once you open it up, um, obviously the, the uh, evaporation draws out the water. One, I think the culprit is really this tube here, which is kind of a chase for the tubes that start from the transom um, all the way up to uh, the middle of the boat. And that chase is really what uh, you run the, you know, the fuel and all of the uh, wiring uh, to go to the engine. So I think what happens in these boats is, you know, there's a lot of flex over the years and, and this tube basically cracks and as water hits or comes into the boat for a variety of reasons it seeps through this tube so there's more to come as i take more foam out um also wanted to show the reason why i'm doing these videos it's not a lot of videos out there on the boats these boats how they're built as you're removing the foam so they have these sort of pods here every few inches looks like 24 inches on which the deck sits. And in between are these wooden, they're not stringers, but basically they sit on the deck of the boat or the hull of the boat and basically come across and they support um, the deck. So it's not really a transom system or not really a stringer system, but it's kind of neat how they really, it's not a big span between they're using the shape of the hull and it's not a very big span uh, to cover and so um, yeah stay tuned just want to show you this water how bad it actually is so I can only imagine uh, all the whalers that are out there um, over time the water seeps through this this uh, chase thanks for watching guys